This group modeled in 3D virtual reality the archaeological site of Troy. Our project for the class was to take a site and reconstruct it from the excavation reports. We chose Troy 6 because we linked that most likely to the Trojan War. They are trying to grapple with the issue of could this particular layer at the site of Troy been destroyed by the Trojan horse. Troy 6 was destroyed by an earthquake and there is evidence of war and a great fire. Poseidon is the god of earthquakes and Poseidon is also represented by a horse. So we looked into the oral tradition and said that through time the earthquake was represented by Poseidon, the horse. They're grappling with a lot of data, archaeological data about an incredibly complex site, and then they link that to passages from Homer. Their flash video not only gives you text and images, but also video clips by experts. The intro, it really catches the audience. But the like, substance of the site is the model, so I guess if you ever see one thing, I guess you should see If it was just one thing, it would be like the, the fly-through animation. This is the main tower and the main gate to the citadel. The main gate is approximately 10 feet wide and leads to the main walkway, which ascends through the concentric terraces that, which make up the citadel. They've transformed pretty dry data and two-dimensional plans of the town into this three-dimensional model. This is a full semester it's, in its own. The students work really hard. But at the end, they've learned more and different things than they would have learned doing a traditional paper. Just for an archaeologist's perspective, able to reconstruct the site itself, how it would look like, be able to do a fly-through of that so you get a sense of what a person would have felt. I mean, that's just fascinating.